Okay, so 48 hour film festival, we've got our team. We've got um, Chad, uh, the skill Grace Cooney, and myself, Mark Tate. We're just waiting on our director, Alex, who's got our genre, and then we're pretty much going to get started straight away. Hey, ho! Directors arrived, guys! Guess what our genre is! Uh, Guess, I'll tell you, because I. So, I've pretty much wanted to do conspiracy theory movies since I was like born. Uh, movies like North by Northwest define who I am. Um, obviously, conspiracy theory, Mel Gibson. Pretty much what it is, is it's like a conspiracy theory about um, John Keyes. He's trying to infiltrate the New Zealand waterways with swine flu. Okay, so it's like a conspiracy. And yeah. an ex military vet, he finds out about it and he knows. And he teams up with a sexy, sassy reporter. And they try and uncover the mystery behind yeah. it, you know, and yeah. bring down John Key yeah. and his corrupt government. So we're doing um, a conspiracy thriller with John Keyes, Prime Minister of New Zealand, uh, releasing swine flu into the New Zealand public. Oh, I'm, I'm through the roof about it. Grace, you're going to be playing Cynthia, oh, yeah. the sexy, cool. sexy, sassy yeah, I can see reporter, that. I can you know? See yeah. That, yeah. Um, I think Alex is quite a visionary, and um, I think it's great for me personally because I get to really jump into this role. Mark, yeah, you're going to be Andrew Kramer. You're like an ex military vet, you know, you're gruff, you know, like nothing can stop you. Chad, you're. Obviously going to be John Key. I'm playing Prime Minister. Um, really excited to be working with Grace throughout the 48 hours. I'm really like, I've grown up with her since I was like 12 and just throughout the weekend I'm hoping that it'll really like rub off on our relationship and that kind of thing. Um, I feel like the film's going really well so far. Um, direction, props, costumes, it's all just really professional. Okay, in this scene that's going to be the beehive, okay? But that doesn't look at all Shut like- SHUT UP! You just want to run towards me! And there's guys behind you and they're gonna kill you! Well, look, where are the guys? I'm gonna CG them in! We don't have time for that, it's 48 hours! Don't underestimate me! Come on, just do it! Yep! <sighs> Let Tang do the run mark, okay? You try it, just take your pants off. No, hey, isn't there a uh, compulsory line that's gotta be in the movie? Oh yeah, it doesn't fit, so we won't use it, don't worry. This is Landon Key, but it's all deserted because of the swine flu, obviously. John Key, you're just gonna skate down like you normally would, and Andrew Kramer, chase him, but chase him discreetly. Okay, go, action. <laughs> Cut! Sort it out, you wouldn't just punch John Key! Alex Puddle, this film's gonna be a puddle of wheeze. He's a complete wanker. He's always on my case. He's just this psycho dick. Look at me. Look at me. Hey, Mark! Mark! Look at me! Hey, this is how you should do an action jump! Oh! Oh! He's been at international relations meetings. He's been in Mexico getting swine flu in its rawest form. Me and Grace's chemistry throughout the weekend is really like blossoming, so it's really good. You will never be able to hide the truth! <laughs> Boom. What are you doing, Chad? You can't just kiss Grace like that! What were you thinking? Uh, I like it. You don't! You're playing John Key! He's got a wife and a family! The kiss was okay, but... It was pretty inappropriate for this kind of production. I feel like I'm losing my cast and there's like a bit of a division between us. John Keys! Today, honestly, it wasn't that good. I feel like there's something going on. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to work it out because things just aren't right. Shit! Plot thickens. Look what I've got here. A little email from Mark's inbox. It reads, Hey bro, hope things are going bad because we're doing great. Love ya bro. Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that Mark is sabotaging the team so that his brother's team can do better. Friggin' he's a rat.
all this time, we were making a conspiracy movie, but the conspiracy was my team. I read the email, Mark. What email? The one from your brother. I've been surveilling your guys' email for the last three weeks. Oh no, you've got the complete wrong oh, idea. Alice. No, you've got the wrong idea in life, mate. You're just a washed up, dusty piece of shit. You're all tall and gangly and blue. Yeah, but I'm all good, eh, Alex? Like, I was a good Prime Minister. Shut up, you ginger mullet And Grace Cooney, you overacting four-eyed bitch. You were all right, and I really appreciate what you brought to this team. I'm gonna miss you. Sayonara, you two-bit thespian f***s. This rock? Yeah, this is us. <laughs> Alex. Not now, Chad. <laughs> Shit, he's a dick. Decent film? Maybe, actually. But I do think that it's probably impossible to finish it now because we've all had a bit too much conspiracy for one weekend. But dare I say it, Alex, even though he was a dickhead, he actually had quite a lot of passion. But I guess that's what did it in the end. He turned reality into his favourite genre, you know? He made the pressure his paranoia. So I just hope at the end of the day that the good team wins. I'm talking about the swine flu. I'm talking about the swine flu.